Everybody start with a brief statement and we'll be available for questions afterwards. I would like to start by saying, as I'm sure I speak for Chief Davis, thoughts and prayers go out to the families and the victims um, from this tragic event last night. Um, last night at approximately 11.21, um, City of Osage Beach Dispatch Center received a 911 call of a possible condo fire um, off Redbud and Passover Road. Compass Point condominium. Um, while en route to the call, initial reports were a possibility of victims trapped in the building. Um, my crews with the fire department arrived on the scene approximately, approximately eight minutes later. They found heavy fire on the fourth floor of the condo building uh, through the roof. Um, upon arrival on the scene, they had two adults individuals on the third floor hanging out a window. Uh, they successfully laddered the building and were able to rescue those individuals. We were made aware of the possibility of four children on the fourth floor. Uh, the fire was too hot for us to initially make entry. Uh, crews were able to douse the fire quickly. Uh, we laddered that building, uh, crews made entry, and it's where we found the four victims. Uh, we brought the victims out directly into an ambulance. They were transported to Lake Regional Hospital and at some point at Lake Regional they were pronounced deceased. Um, we do have State Fire Marshal on the scene uh, who's assisting our investigator with this investigation. Uh, at this time the investigation is still open. Um, they are looking at possible cause and they will determine cause hopefully um, of this fire. As Chief Dornhauer said, the initial dispatch came in at 2321. Um, we had officers on the scene at 2327 hours and began attempting to evacuate the building. Um, they were able to raise the two residents on the third floor um, at the window and assisted the fire district with the, the uh, removal of the victims. Um, at that point, my officers began assisting the fire department with what they could resources arrived on the scene. At that time, we began the investigation. Um, at this point, we will not release the names of the, the, uh, the children that were deceased. Uh, they'll not have any more time to notify the next of kin. But um, they were two two-year-olds, a four-year-old, and a five-year-old. And uh, they were cousins. They were there celebrating one of the children's birthdays. And we'll take any questions you have. Where were the parents at the time? Do you know? Um, the father of one of the children was, he was in the residence. Um, without going into details to possibly hamper the investigation that we have going on, um, he was just unable to get to the children. He was able to get, get him, remove himself from the fire efforts to get back in, but he was unable to do so. The two people who got out on the third floor, no relation? No relation. Can a neighbor say that they saw someone coming down the floor appeared to be that unit where the children were found? Were there other people that were able to escape in time? As far as we know, they were the only the, the three that were able to get out. The, the two, father and the two. The father and then the two people on the third floor. We got that weather last night. A lot of lightning, a lot of thunder. Did this appear to maybe be weather related? It, at this time, that's not ruled out, but I, I will say that that is not the avenue we're looking right now. Uh, we did have calls earlier in the evening throughout the district of lightning related calls. Uh, but where we see area of origin um, is telling us it's probably not weather related. Could you elaborate more on where that area of origin is? The area of origin. What we're seeing right now, as specific as I can get, is going to be the fourth floor. Um, the area near the unit where it has the heaviest standing for the victim's children. It was the area of admission was near the unit or in the unit? Area of origin was near. We haven't determined whether it's been inside or outside, but based on burn patterns, uh, based on damage, it's, it's going to be in the area of the fourth floor unit. Okay. 
and chief in that condo complex did uh were there propane grills on porches uh yes i believe there are thank you will we have autopsy results today uh the autopsies are scheduled sometime today I'm, they haven't advised us the time yet At this point, we believe that they are residents of the city. Even the, um, the visiting family is also resident? Of the lake area. Okay. As far as other people living in the condo, have they been set up with some kind of temporary shelter? We did make contact last night during the, um, during the, the Red Cross, um, who was coming in to assist those who have been displaced. And we don't have any work in place of the entire building? Uh, the entire building at this point is uninhabitable. Um, those who were there last night, I think there was one other unit um, occupied. Um, now, the other units, whether they're weekend homes, we don't know that at this point. Yes? I heard from a local resident that he heard an explosion. Did you see that at all? Uh, there are different reports of you know people hearing some type of explosion. Um, an area where there was a heavy damage. Um, there were several air conditioning units and it's a possibility that could have been a compressor. It could have been an aerosol can. It is something we're looking into, but we haven't determined what that cause definitely was at this point. Could you describe more about the situation of the event where the adult was in the unit or wasn't in the unit? How was it entered for the children themselves? Without going into a lot of detail, since the investigation is ongoing, uh, at this point, we don't want to release that information. And the child that did live there, what age was that child? The five year old. One of the neighbors we spoke with said, you know, with a wood staircase, the kids will probably be trapped on top of that. Not about right there. I, I'm not sure the wood staircase created that, that problem. Uh, again, if, if we look at the area of fire, the fire origin, um, the one exit they would have had to take them to that staircase uh, was probably heavily involved. Uh, so whether it was a metal staircase or a wood staircase, but just based on the fire location, they would not have been able to exit that door. Can you tell us if the children appear to have died of smoke inhalation? That's something we know yet. I, I'd, be, I'd be speculating. Um, I did see the children, but I, that, that would be speculation, and I, that's just not fair to the family at this point. Okay. I need to do that. I think we should wait for autopsy and see themselves. Are there any possible criminal charges pending the investigation? We can know right now. Not at this time, but it, with, with the fatalities involved in the fire, we. One thing I want to, I'd like to clarify because this question has come up quite a bit when we talk about the investigation and bringing in the state fire marshals. Uh, it is protocol and within our district and in a lot of districts um, that you go to that every fire, um, no matter what it is, is investigated. Um, so when we talk investigation, it, it doesn't blend us to criminal, it doesn't take us away from criminal. Anytime we have a death related um, to fire, it is, it is our policy that we are required to bring the state fire marshal in to lead that investigation. And again, we bring him in not to lead or to take away, it's, it's just part of that investigation. So when we talk about investigation of this, uh, we're not discounting criminal, but we're not, we're not saying that it is suspicious and it is possible that either. It, it's just protocol that, that we do this to make sure the determination is correct. Since you've been fire chief, have you ever had to deal with a situation like this where four kids are being five and died? Yeah. I, I pray that myself and my crew is going to do it. Uh, uh, I the fire, we'll say fire, uh, the fire department was on the scene. Did any other departments assist last night? We went 
went to a fourth alarm uh, where on the scene we had eight different fire departments. Uh, we had three different ambulance services and the OC Beach Police. Um, in addition to that, I had districts move up to cover my district. Um, the county had districts move up to cover their districts. Some of the beach had districts move up to cover them. So all, all told, we were looking at about 11 different fire departments or fire districts from Lebanon to Elvin, um, Sunrise Beach to Canyon. So what, who, who besides those eight feet responded directly to the fire? We had Mid-County, we had Lake Ozark, we had the City of Canvinton, we had Sunrise Beach, we had the City of Elvin, we had Lebanon Rural, City of Lebanon, um, North County Ambulance, Mercy Ambulance, OC Beach Ambulance, OC Beach Police, Missouri State Highway Patrol. Do you know of any fire alarms or sprinklers or any other sort of thing that went off at the fire department? I know that smoke detectors did go off, and we did have some occupants that indicated that they were awakened by smoke detectors. Um, that building was built prior to building codes in this area. Uh, I believe it was late 70s, early 80s, that that building was probably built, uh, so that there are no sprinkler systems on the air. Uh, we did have hydrant water, uh, which greatly assisted. Uh, there's a lot of areas when you get into Lake of the Ozarks where you have to shuttle water, and had that been the case, the loss could have been greater. Fire investigators still trying to pick up uh, clues on scene, or are there when, when I came over here for the press conference, there was investigators were still on scene. You mentioned the father was in the unit. Have you made contact with the mother? The mother has yet been with him. The parents have been notified. Was she at work? She was at work. 